Hi everyone. So today we have a pretty interesting question, and we're going to talk a little bit about order modulo prime and Fermat's all theorem. So we've talked about order modulo an element before, and here we're going to deal with primes. And primes, the fact that it's a prime actually makes it easier. Right? And dealing with primes, the uh, integral number theory is sometimes a lot easier, right? And because we have a prime, Fermat's all theorem is almost complementary to it. Right? We see that so many times. We've seen that association time and again. So this is quite an interesting question because um, if you are aware of a little bit of number theory techniques, especially if you are aware of the importance and how actually simple this order modulo prime is, then you can solve this question on your own. That being said, if you have not have a significant experience with this, uh, this would be fairly tricky and challenging to solve. So we're going to see how we can do with this, and let's just get right into it. This is the problem number fourteen from the AIME in twenty nineteen. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about order order modulo prime. We're going to discuss a little bit of Fermat's theorem and a little bit about modular arithmetic. You should know what that is and how you can reduce an element mod p. Then uh, we have some book suggestions from AIME, and at the end, this is the problem number fourteen from the AIME in twenty nineteen. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about this video is sponsored by Chinta dot com. Since two thousand and ten, Chinta has trained. thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads physics olympiads computer science and informatics olympiads isi cmi entrances and research projects for school and college students okay so we need to find the smallest odd prime factor of 2019 this per 8 plus 1 now this question looks very simple it can be understood by a fifth grader right as long as they know what the meaning of factor is but to solve this you need a little bit more rigorous theory of course right like i said before uh it's very challenging actually to do this without the concept of order modulo a prime right so let's just get right into it as right in um okay so we need to find the smallest odd prime factor of this quantity now let that smallest odd prime factor be p right so p effectively divides 2019 raised power 8 plus 1 isn't it cuz we want it to be a factor so p should divide that quantity or in terms of modular arithmetic i can just state that 2019 raised power 8 plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p right cuz it needs to divide the remainder is 0 so 2019 raised power 8 is actually congruent to minus 1 mod p and 2019 raised power 16 if i just square this is congruent to uh 1 mod p it again i'm just squaring terms over here It should be pretty clear. Okay, so we have 2019 raised to the 16 is one mod p. This is kind of similar to Fermat's little theorem. So what does this Fermat's little theorem says that Fermat's little theorem says that a raised to the p minus one is congruent to one mod p, such that the GCD of a and p is equal to one. But there's a problem with Fermat's little theorem, and the problem that I'm going to talk about is we're going to witness that through an example. So let's take an example over here. Let's They say that a is equal to two and p is equal to seven. So from F L T, from this Fermat's little theorem, I'll have a raised to the p minus one. So two raised to the seven minus one is six is congruent to one modulo seven, which is true. Which is true. I'm not denying that at all. This is a true statement. But the problem is that six is not the smallest number at which this happens. Actually, two raised to the three, which is eight, is also one mod seven. So we have a smaller number three over here, and why that is important is in this question we need to find the smallest prime factor, smallest, right? So the problem with Fermat's little theorem and even with the, uh, the um, uh, Euler torsion function is Euler torsion theorem is that the exponents that they are generating is really not the smallest exponent, right? For example, even over here, right, a raised to the phi of n is congruent to one mod n. The problem over here again is that. Phi of n is not the smallest quantity at which you reach one mod n. It may be the smallest quantity, but oftentimes it's not the smallest quantity, right? And that is why we have this concept of order, because order is the smallest value at which it happens. So, for in this case, order is equal to three, right? So, order of two modulo seven is effectively equal to three, right? It's it's so fundamental, right? It's so fundamental, and there is a need for understanding this order. It exists. It exists for a reason. And the reason for that is because this F L T and all the torsion theory they are not giving you the smallest value of the exponent. They're just telling you one value for which it happens. It will happen at other values, but it can also happen at a smaller value. And the thing is, finding the next value is easy. For example, you know that two raised to the six is congruent to one modulo p. 
now i can you know really square this on both sides so i'll get 2 raised to power 12 is also congruent to 1 mod b so finding higher values is actually easy you can you know really use certain properties of this congruence model and find a lot of values for which this happened but finding a smaller value is the real challenge right finding the smaller value is the real challenge and that is why this concept of this order exists right and if you actually notice something over here this 3 actually divides 6 or in general if the order is d it'll actually divide p minus 1 because p is prime and like we've seen before d actually indeed divides phi, phi of n but since n is a prime d will actually divide n minus 1 and n is equal to p so d divides p minus 1 and it goes all the associated function for primes is just p minus 1 right as clear as that so that's why you know we need this concept of this uh, of this order which is called d okay great now that being said let us return back to what we had so we had this 20 19 plus 16 is one model of p so let the order be d right so let the order be d so d clearly divides 16 right d clearly divides 16 because d needs to divide that exponent d is the smallest value for which it happens we don't know if 16 is the smallest or not yet therefore d needs to be divided 16 but d cannot divide 8 because 20 19 this power 8 is minus 1 mod p we don't want minus 1 we want 1 from Fermat's theorem you want it to be equal to 1 right so d can divide 16 but d cannot divide 8 what does that mean that d has to be 16 right which is so amazing so the order is indeed equal to 16 right because Really, if a number divides 16, but it does not divide 8, that means it has to be 16, right? For example, what numbers divide 16, right? So D could have been 1, 2, 4, you have 8 and 16, right? All of these numbers are divides out of 16. You know, from this, I can just effectively conclude that D will belong to this set, but D does not divide 8. Well, 1 divides 8, 2 divides 8, 4 divides 8, 8 divides 8, and what is left? 16, right? So the only possibility really left is D is equal to 16. And we know that d divides p minus 1 so effectively 16 divides p minus 1 or in terms of congruence modulo i can say that p minus 1 is congruent to 0 modulo 16 so p is basically 1 mod 16 and once we've reached this we can you know just use casework right now just to remind you we what, what were we intending to find we were intending to find that p divides 2019 raised to the power 8 plus 1 so effectively 2019 raised to the power 8 plus 1 needs to be 0 modulo p we need to find p we need to find prime speed that satisfy this right so we now have this external condition we have this extra condition or the extra result that p needs to be additionally equal to 1 modulo 16 well if p is 1 mod 16 that what can p be 17 right 16 plus 1 is 17 1 mod 17 is well 33 it can also be 49 16 to 3 plus 1 16 into 4 plus 1 is 65, 16 into 5 plus 1 is 81, 97, and so on and so forth. The difference will be 16, of course. Now, 17 is a prime, so okay, we are good with that. 33 is not a prime, not a prime, not a prime, not a prime. 97 is also prime, right? And then it goes on and on. But the good thing, the really good thing is we need to find the smallest prime, right? So it can be 17. It can be 97 or it can be a little bit further as well but it will be some small value right it can't be like somewhere in the thousands or the ten thousands no obviously they don't expect you to calculate that we have computers for that but uh, it will be some small value and most likely most likely given the nature of these olympiad contests it's either going to be 17 or 97 right? because they are really not expecting you to compute uh, to do so much of casework right so let's check for p is equal to 17 now just to remind you 2019 raised per 8 needs to be plus 1 needs to be 0 modulo p or in other words 2019 raised per 8 plus 1 needs to be 0 mod 17 in this case as p is 17 so effectively we just need to find the value of find 2019 raised per 8 plus 1 mod 17 effectively what is the remainder when 2019 raised per 8 plus 1 is divided by 17 it's a pretty elementary question so 2019 is, um, if you just note down, it's actually 13 mod 17. So you get 13 raised to the power 8 plus 1 mod 17. And 13 squared is obviously 169 raised to the power 4 plus 1 mod 17. 169 is negative 1 raised to the power 4 plus 1 mod 17 because 17 tends to 170. So this is actually 2 mod 17. So the remainder is 2. But we want the remainder to be 0. We want it to be 0 mod 17, we are getting it to be equal to 2 mod 17, so therefore this case fails. P cannot be equal to 17. Really, let's move on to case number 2 then. Number 2, right? What was the next one? Next one was 97, right? Because everything else in the middle is not a prime. 
all of these quantities and not a prime so p can only be 97 and again we just need to find the value of 2019 raised to the power 8 plus 1 mod 97 what's the remainder when 2019 raised to the power 8 plus 1 is divided by 97 right so 2019 so happens to be 79 mod 97 so this is 79 raised to the power 8 plus 1 mod 97 now 79 is negative 18 so this becomes negative 18 raised to the power 8 plus 1 mod 97 and 18 squares are 324 so this becomes this mod 97 and we're just reducing it right trying to figure out the value and 324 squared and um, well 324 is actually 33 mod 97 so this becomes 33 is for 4 plus 1 197 and 33 squared is 1089 whole square plus 1 mod 97 now 1089 is actually 22 mod 97 so this becomes 22 squared plus 1 mod 97 22 squared is 484 plus 1 is 485 mod 97 which is 0 because 97 times 5 is 485 right so 485 divided by 97 is 5 so the remainder is actually 0 but that's great that's what we had to find right we wanted it to be 0 mod 97 that's what we got right we wanted it to be 0 mod 97 and we needed to find a prime p that divides it we needed 0 mod 97 and we have received it therefore the smallest prime p is p is equal to 97 right we have to find the smallest p that it divides the given quantity so quite an interesting question right i think order is a very practical concept it's a very interesting concept and it's definitely uh, very useful like you see right now because fermat's theorem just breaks down when you need to find certain smaller values and to really find those smaller values you need to use this concept of order and we needed the smallest odd prime factor and that's what we received right once you got this condition that p needs to be 1 mod 16 after that it was just casework right after that uh, it's easily doable so effectively in the question they have given us one condition and our main goal was to derive the second condition which is p is equal to 1 mod 16 and once you got to that condition after that it was relatively easy right so hope you learned something from that okay so we have some book sessions for usamo usajmo or amy Elementary number three by David Burton. Problems on charges by Arthur and Chell. Functional equations by Venkata Chala. Problems in plane geometry by Sharikin. Elementary number three by Siapinski. Graph theory by Harari. And of course, Communitics by Brualdi. Okay, so we have a similar but challenging problem. And this is a question I believe from Pumac, which is Princeton University Mathematics Competition. Uh, again, one of the university contests in the United States. And we need to find the sum of the smallest four prime factors of this number. Again, very important to use the concept of order over here because again you have the smallest so whenever you have smallest and you have prime there is an intuition to apply for Marcel theorem with keeping in mind that you are probably going to have to use order somewhere because you need to find the smallest right and for Marcel theorem doesn't really tell you if the exponent that you're generating is the smallest or not it may be the smallest but it's also possible that it may not be the smallest right so we try using the concept of order modulo prime over here and if you're able to do it, let me know. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much and bye-bye. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics. And they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR and IISC. For more information, visit Chinta.com.